Welcome to my series on rational functions. In this video, we are going to discuss word problems related to work done. I have taken four examples to give you a variety, four different types of questions and how do we solve them. You can always learn from me by sending an email on the address given. Let us now enjoy the journey of success. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. In this video, we'll discuss work done problems. These are basically rational functions, inversely proportional relation. Here are four questions for you. I'd like you to pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. Question number one. If six men can do a job in 14 days, how many would it take to do the job in 21 days? We'll understand the simple concept with this example and then do the rest. Question two. Anil can paint 1,000 meter fence in 20 hours. Anil and Ben together can paint the same 1,000 meter fence in 4 hours. How much time would Ben alone take to paint that 1,000 meter fence? Question number 3. Sam takes 2 hours to wash 500 dishes and Peter takes 3 hours to wash 450 dishes. How long will they take working together to wash 1,000 dishes? The last question is, one man and two boys can do a job in 12 days. Two men and three boys can do the same job in eight days. How long would it take a boy to do the work alone? So these are four different varieties of questions which you can expect under this topic of work done. Let us see how do we solve them. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Now let's look into the solution of the very first question, which is the basic concept of work done. The question is, if six men can do a job in 14 days, how many would it take to do the job in 21 days? Well, more number of men, less days, right? So remember this, more persons, less time. So that means we are talking about inversely proportional. Inversely proportional will really mean, let's say, number of persons is, uh, let's say, n. If n is the number of persons, then time taken will be proportional to 1 over 10, 1 over t, right? So that means n equals to some constant times 1 over t, and that gives us a very important relation that n times t is a constant, right? So let me write down the relation here to understand the whole concept. So number of persons and the time taken will be a constant. So this is what happens when we have inversely proportional relations. So in context to these questions, I will say that this is called an effort. So, in doing this job, a fixed amount of effort is required, that is constant, and that will help us to answer this particular question or similar questions, correct? So, we are saying six men can do it in 14 days, right? So, that means six men and 14 days, do you understand? So, if you multiply them, if you multiply them, what do you get? 
you get an effort which is 6 times 14 man days. You get the idea, right? So, so you get 6 times 14 man days. If I could write it like this. So, this is the effort we are talking about. This is constant. So, for that particular variety of job, we need that much of effort. But now, the question is, how many days would it take, how many men, how many would it take, how many men, that means, would it take to do the job in 21 days, right? So, we know 21 days, so we don't know how many men, so let us say M. Men, right? So M into 21 should be equal to 6 into 14. You get the idea. Same effort. So the number of men will be 6 into 14 over 21. So that is how you are going to get this answer. So this question has been taken here for concept. And we get 4. So, so the answer is four men who will complete in 21 days. Is that clear to you? So that is how we will interpret such questions, right? So I hope with this you can answer type 1 question where we are looking at an effort, right? So I will call this as a type 1. which is constant effort. Now, let's look into the second example. It says, Anil can paint 1000 meter fence in 20 hours. Anil and Ben together can paint the same 1000 meter fence in 4 hours. How much time would Ben alone take to paint 1000 meter fence. So, the job is fixed. We want to paint 1000 meter fence. Clear? So, the units are in hours, 20 hours, right? We will see how much work can a person done, can do it in one hour. So, we will say how much work. The question is how much work can Anil do in one hour. So, when we say 20 hours for the whole effort, so in one hour, Anil will do 1 20th of the effort. Do you understand? 1 over 20 of the whole effort, of the whole work. So, that is the rate which we are talking about, right? So, let's call this as a rate at which Anil is doing, right? So, let me write here. So, we talk about rate, rate of Anil. Let's say Anil rate, A. Now, how much time would Ben alone will take? We don't know. So, we want to find the Ben rate. So, how much time will Ben do it? We don't know. Let it be B, right? Let it be B. In that case, we can actually form an equation. It says Anil and Ben together can paint the same job, fence of 1000 meters, in 4 hours, right? So, it could be written as 1 over 20, that is for Anil, plus we don't know rate at which Ben is working, we will put B there, but we know that 1 fourth of the job will be done in 1 hour, right? 4 hours complete job. So, in 4 hours, Full fence will be painted in one hour. How much? One fourth will be painted. So that is what it is. And now we can rearrange and find the value of B. So 1 over B is equal to 1 over 4 minus 1 over 20. Does it make sense to you? So simple as that. We can take a common denominator 20 and this becomes 5 minus 1 which is 4 over 20 or 1 over 5. 
So, 1 over b is 1 over 5 that means b equals to 5, correct. So, that is how we are going to answer this question and now we know. So, we'll, we can now answer this as Ben would take five hours to paint alone. Is that clear to you? So, such work done questions can be easily written down as shown here. Perfect. Now, let us move on and do the next question. Now, in this case, Sam takes two hours to wash 500 dishes. Peter takes three hours to wash 450 dishes. How long would they take working together to wash 1000 dishes? So, now the work is defined as washing 1000 dishes. So, we can look into this is that Sam, as far as Sam is concerned, 2 hours for 500 dishes, right? So, how much time for 1000? So, time for 1000 will be 1000 will be more, right? So, we can say we want time in the numerator. So, 2 over 500 times 1000. Well, you could have said even otherwise, 4 hours. 4 hours for 1000 dishes. Clear? Double the time. Makes sense. So, we are only confirming that our equation of working is right. Is that clear to you, right? It was obvious, right? How about Peter? 3 hours, 450 dishes, correct? So, we want to know time for 1000 dishes. So, it will be more, right? So, time we want to know over 450 was initially given to us times 1000. So, that is the total time, right? So, we can actually simplify this and then figure out how much can we get. So, 3 goes 15 times, correct? Okay? And then we can cancel this 5 times, 5 times 3 and 5 times 20. So, we get this as 20 over 3, correct. Okay. Now, we are saying working together. How long will they take working together? So, we will say let them take T hours. for working together, okay. In that case, what kind of equation can I make? T is the total time taken by both of them. So, therefore, now the equation will be Sam can take 4 hours, right? So, 1 over 4, 1 fourth of the job will be done, right, by Sam and for this 1 over 20 over 3 is equal to 1 over t. Time taken is t hours. So, now we can find time taken. Right? So, let us simplify this. So, so that means 1 over t is equal to, let us try to simplify this. We have 1 over 4 plus 3 over 20, correct? So, we can take a common denominator which is again 20 and here we get 5 plus 3 which is 8 over 20. So, time taken will be reciprocal of this, which is 20 over 8, right? You can divide 2 and you get what? 4, so 2 and a half hours. Or you can say 2.5 hours. You get this sense. So, that is how such questions can be easily answered. Perfect. So, you got the idea. How do I make this equation, right? Question number 4. Now, this is very interesting. One man and two boys can do a job in 12 days. Two men and three boys can
can do the same job in eight days. How long would it take a boy to do the work alone? So, let us say, we take, when takes M hours? So, M hours for men and B hours for boys. Let us say, that is our criteria. In that case, when I say, one man and two boys can do the job in 12 days. Right, so we can form an equation for this. That is, one man plus two boys can do this job in 12 days. So, one twelfth will be done. You get the idea. So, from the first one, we get this equation. And now, the second equation is, two men and three boys can do the same job in eight days. So, let us write down that also. So, 2 men, so 2 over m, plus 3 boys can do the job in 8 days. You see how easily we have made the equations, right? Now, we have only one unknown, two unknowns. We can solve this using these two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. I like you to pause the video at this stage, solve and find the answer. Now, what will I do? Since I need to eliminate m, let me multiply the first equation by 2, right? So, so in this case, I will times 2, the first equation. So, I will get this as 2 men plus 4 boys will do the job in 2 over 12, which is 1 over 6, correct? So, I am getting equation 3. So, I have got 2 men, 2 men. So, I can now replace or subtract one from the other. So, if I do equation 3 minus equation 2, what do I get? So, 3 is 4 over b minus 3 over b is equal to 1 over 6 minus 1 over b. So, I can now easily solve this. b is common denominator, right? 4 minus 3 is 1 is equal to here, 24 is the common denominator, 8 times 3 and 6 times 4. So, we get here 4 minus 3, which is 1 over 24. So, that means B is equal to 24. You get the answer? So, that is how we are going to answer this question. So, how long will it take a boy to do this work alone? Boy will take twenty four days alone. Is that clear to you? So that is how we can actually solve these questions. So we have four types of questions, right? This is type four for us. And I hope that really helps you to understand the whole concept. I will take another video where we will discuss more in details about two or more than two people working or leaving the job in between. In case you want to learn from me, you can send an email on the address given here. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.